Recently, GitHub announced this handy feature. This handy action flags issues and PRs that go untouched for a certain amount of time. Try it out in your repo today and start closing out those stale issues. And the bot they have leaves this comment. This issue is stale because it has been open for 30 days with no activity. Remove the stale label or comment or this will be closed in five days. And if you didn't get that, this will automatically mark issues as stale and automatically close them. Now, like most GitHub actions, you can go and modify the parameters under which it will do this. So by default, it is 60 days of inactivity and then it'll be marked as stale and it will leave this comment. And then after seven more days, it will automatically close the issue if no action has been taken. But there's a lot of issues you may want to be ignoring. Let's say issues and even pull requests made by the main maintainer. Or let's say things that are part of the next milestone or maybe tagged in a certain way. All of these ways of filtering things out can be enabled and disabled. And like every other GitHub action, this is entirely optional and up to the repo maintainer. This isn't something that GitHub is forcing on distros. If a repo is using this, it is because the maintainer chose to use it. And the funny thing about this is even though it's optional, the sheer existence of this feature has led to quite a bit of backlash. A lot of people saying things like, stop this, please don't do this, delete this right now, and even things like this is hostile against the user and developers. The auto marking is stale and the bot comment is kind of annoying, but not really that big of a deal. The much bigger deal is automatically closing issues with no indication of whether the issue is actually been dealt with, there's actually an issue here, or anything like that. I know this is going to sound pretty obvious, but bugs and feature enhancements don't automatically fix themselves. So sometimes you'll see an issue that has been dormant for months, or in some cases, even years. Like, go to any of the window managers that have an open issue about Wayland support. Some of those are from 2016, and only get a comment every couple of months. But the problem hasn't gone away. It's not been marked as a won't fix, it's just an open issue that has a very, very low priority. And this is quite common to see, especially in fairly high development projects. A lot of people are going to be reporting things and a lot of issues, you know, some of them aren't major issues, may just go by the wayside for a long, long time. Now, let's say an issue does get closed. Well, someone is just going to go and reopen it, either the original user or some other user who is sharing the exact same issue. And as most developers probably know, lots of users out there don't already check if an issue is currently open. Now you want them to check not only the open issues, but also the closed issues to see if an issue just got closed because it was stale. People are not going to do that. You are much better off just leaving the issue open and making it much easier for both the developers and the users to also find. And hey, how do you feel about the comments saying, is this done? Is this done? How's the progress going along? Is this done? When's this going to be ready? Is this done? Well, this bot is going to encourage people to leave more and more of those comments because now they know if they don't leave a comment every 30 days or whatever you set it to, it's automatically going to close it. So they'll just say something like, Go away, bot. Hey, what's the progress? Is this ready yet? Adding literally nothing to the conversation except keeping the issue open. And it's very important to remember that most FOSS users, FOSS developers, when they make an issue or a pull request on your project, are completely unpaid to do so. They are just volunteers and you do not own any of their time. There are certainly some exceptions, like there are some paid developers of Critter, OBS, GIMP, and obviously the Linux kernel, but most projects out there are run entirely by volunteers. And when you're a volunteer and it's not some like well-structured volunteering system, you work when you want to work. And it's not really that uncommon for a FOSS developer to be contributing to like five plus projects at the exact same time. So if you expect work to be done in a timely fashion before the bot goes and marks something as stale, well, start paying them. Otherwise, they will get to it when they get to it. 
And even if you're just working on a single project, sometimes things in your regular life are just more important than your FOSS development. Whether it's your job, your family, or you just don't feel like doing it and you want to go and play some video games. In some cases, issues just may remain open for multiple months with nothing being done on them. Is this issue now suddenly no longer relevant because it's a couple of months old? Possibly, but in many cases, possibly not. Now, I want to be clear that I'm not saying it's never okay to close an incomplete issue or pull request. Obviously, if things like the won't fix situation, but there's a bunch of others as well. Let's say you go and submit a bug report to a project, and the project maintainer says, hey, can you tell me the environment you're running this in, what version you're running, and the steps you took to actually replicate this bug? And you decide you're not going to respond for one month, two months, three months, months, even like six months or a year. Well, the developer, if they can't work out the bug themselves, has to just assume that the bug either doesn't exist or can't be replicated. And if they close it, that's totally fine. And this time, let's say you submit an issue and give all of the relevant information, and nothing really gets done about the issue. But some point later into the future, some change is made. Let's say you submit an issue about a UI problem, for example, and this change brings in a whole new UI. Well, your old issue is now completely irrelevant. Technically, it hasn't been dealt with, but I would say it's fine to close it. But the issue with both of these examples is currently they require some level of human judgment. You can't just say, hey, this issue has existed for X amount of time, therefore go and close it. You need to look at the issue, look at exactly what it's offering, and say, okay, is this an issue we really need to keep around, or can we just go and get rid of it because it doesn't really matter anymore? And if you start using this action, it's going to break both of those examples and any other situation where things might sit around and need some level of human intervention. And because of this, Hector Martin kinda went off about this on Twitter. Don't do this ever. This is insulting and disrespectful to your users. Nobody's entitled to support from volunteer FOSS projects, but they absolutely do deserve not to have the issue they took time to file actively thrown away. If you haven't fixed the bug, it stays open. You cannot automatically close issues since the bot has no knowledge of whether something is still applicable or not. An automated ping but not close bots are strictly less efficient than, you know, bug sweeps, and just annoy people. If you have a stale bug problem, spend the time to fix it yourself or learn to live with the number on top of the bug list. Neither of those two options is that bad. Reminder that this is not about closing bugs PR's request in a need info state where the user isn't being responsive. This is about indiscriminately closing stale bugs on a timer with no regard to whether they're still valid. And we'll close it off with a blog from 11 years ago. Mr. 9%, why I like keeping bugs open. You can go and read the rest of this for yourself if you would like to. I just want to read this. So rather than closing bugs that look abandoned, waiting for other people to report them again, the solution should be to fix them. Closing them will just ensure that they'll be reported once again, increasing the size of the Bugzilla database, which is a more serious problem than just inflating a counter. Now, I do think there is a possible disconnect between FOSS volunteer work and paid proprietary corporate work. Let's say you have a bug reporting system that for some reason is directly tied into your GitHub. So people are constantly reporting things and just throwing things into your GitHub issue tracker or whatever you want to call it. And maybe if something doesn't get dealt with in a reasonable amount of time, you want to go and automatically mark it as stale and automatically delete it. Besides that, I can't think of any practical issues for closing issues that haven't been dealt with. But I'm not opposed to it existing. Someone may have a use case that isn't just annoying users and isn't wasting everyone's time, but I certainly don't know what it is. So most projects out there, I really hope, don't go and use this. 
So let me know your thoughts. Do you have any reason why you might want to use this? Or do you think it is just harmful to the user and FOSS developers? I would love to know. So if you like this video, really go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, could you get my Patreon, subscribe, and barrel pay link in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brother Optin Plays. That's going to be it for me and I'm out.